What's going on, Petey? What's the big surprise? I present to you, Canadian Dad. I don't get it. He looks the same, except he's dressed as a village people. Go on, Pop. Say it. Sorry. No, the other thing. <sighs> Forget about it. Oh my god, he's a whole new man! This calls for a celebration. You're finally a real Canadian. I'm so proud of you. What the f***? Hi, Mommy. Hi, Daddy. Guess what? I did all my homework. You did your homework? Uh-huh. And then I cleaned my room, and then I cleaned Petey's room, and then Uncle Cheech and me had a tea party. Who wants Huggy Boos? Gina, you feeling okay? Petey made you Canadian too? Oh, no, Daddy. It's because of the magic happy pills Mommy gave me. These rainbows are made of smiles, wishes, and good dreams. <gasps> Speaking of good dreams, I'm gonna skedaddle off to bed. Night-night! Wow, I guess that a pacify stuff really works. If you want me to babysit tonight, I'm gonna need a bottle of whatever she's on. I'm bored. Are we there yet? Hey, let's play I Spy. What are you, six? Take it easy, chick magnet. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, I'll go first. I spy with my little eye something that's gonna get slaughtered. What? See? A truck full of lambs. <laughs> oh, right. Good one. I'll try again. I spy with my little eye dead meat. Who, me? No, no. There's some roadkill over there. <laughs> one more. I spy with my little eye, two wise guys who are gonna get whacked. All right, you're freaking me out. What? Relax. It's just Martin Scorsese's new movie. We are so seeing that, hey, Cheech? Cheech. Aw, he fell asleep. Listen, slut anchor. You boinking my husband? Da. Oh, da means yes. What's the Ruski word for no? Nyet. That's it. I haven't boinked her. Nyet. You haven't boinked her yet? <laughs> well, have fun with your Russian floozy, you pig. What's wrong with you? You're gonna get me killed. Oh, you die for me. So romantic. No, I die because of you. You and I got no future, you understand? Forget future. Taste present. Ah. Yeah. Present tastes like vodka and lip gloss. Look. Get it through your skull. I ain't interested. Svetenka, no believe you. All right, then. I'm gay. Ooh, it's hot. I bring man to bedroom for Yimmy. How about Juan Carlos? <laughs> I watch. Yeah, my answer to that is... Hail Mary, full of grace. Help me with my daughter's booze problem. That's good. Booze problem? Try raising a teenager with the power to turn water into wine. Ah! Oh. Mama mia, bathtub was permanently stained purple. Jesus was a lush? It got so bad we had to put him in AAA. Ancient Alcoholics Anonymous. Didn't work. Little punk refused to acknowledge a higher power. No way, ma. I am the higher power. God, the ego on this kid. So what did you do? I took him down to the Dead Sea and said, you turn that into wine and drink every drop. He chugged it like a champ. Then he punched a centurion, trashed the temple, and ran off with a whore from Babylon. But he never got drunk again. Wow. The things they left out of the Bible. No kidding. Like his brother Rusty. What? And I've said too much. What do you want, Kojak? I ain't touching that. What is it? I'm talking to you, Professor X. Wait, Gina. That's a Buddhist monk. You don't talk. I think he's on mute. It's called a vow of silence. Dear parent or guardian, a vision has foretold that a child in this home may be the reincarnation of the Bali Lama. The who, the what now? The Bali Lama. It's just like the Dalai Lama, except from Bali. Wow, I always knew I was special, but not this special. I am honored. What? Her? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. High priests will soon arrive to determine the veracity of the vision. Please prepare. I ain't giving no priest no eye test, you got it? Now get the hell out of here! Jackpot, 50 Gs. 
That's Indonesian money. It's only worth five bucks. Says the guy who is not the Baldy Lama. So, did Toby give you your job back? Yeah, Cheech. My first day back, and he gave me the day off. Well, looks like I gotta find some other job. Good thing you got the day off. You don't know what it's like out there, Jimmy. It's doggy dog. People killing each other to climb the corporate ladder. If you look the wrong way, somebody stabs you in the back. Hey, wait a minute. You know exactly what it's like out there. Yeah, I do. Who knows? Maybe I'll get one of them CEO jobs where I can screw up and ask for a bailout. I'm gonna get a job, too. Atta boy, Cheech. You think I got a good voice for phone sex? So this diploma you got from the internet wasn't good enough for him? Apparently Harvard's not a high school, and it's spelled with two A's. You learn something new every day. If I don't get them a real diploma, they're gonna give me the X. You know who could have done this for you? Freddy the Forger. One time he made me a fake ID, got me into Vito's bar. Cheech, you were like 50. What did you need a fake ID for? It was ladies' drink-free night. Man, I got bummed. Next morning, I woke up in some guy's bed. Boy, was he embarrassed. God, I miss all those guys. Freddy the Forger, Carmine the Counterfeiter, Tony the Tiger Smuggler. The guys you find on Craigslist, they're just not the same. Hey, how come Daddy got to drop out of high school, but you won't let me? You're such a hypocrite. And that's exactly why you're staying in school, young lady. Teresa, it's apples and orange juice. When I was your age, I was on the streets, hustling, doing whatever it took to make a living. <laughs> So, what you gonna do, Jimmy? I guess I'll just quit and live off the nest egg. Over your dead body? What the hell kind of example is that to set for the kids? I used to kill guys for a living. Setting a good example ain't exactly high on my priorities. Well, now you're a civilian, so act civilized and get a f***ing diploma! Fine, I'll go back to high school. Pop, you can just get a GED. Gina's not here, Petey. If you want to swear, you don't have to spell it. Oh, you are so staying in school. It means general educational diploma. All you have to do is pass an equivalency exam at the community college. That's it? Just pass one test? Uh-huh. I got mine when I was five. I only stay in school for the camaraderie. And how many friends do you have, Petey? 127. Facebook doesn't count. Counting you? Don't you dare count me. Zero. What are you doing here? I am waiting for my date. I'm the one who's supposed to go on the dates. You're supposed to step aside and let me jump in. When the time is right. When is that gonna be? Indeterminate. Need additional data. Come on, you're just jerking me around. Indeterminate. Need additional data. This is not what I programmed you for. Hide, here she comes. Your presence is agreeable. Is that a new hat? Oh, come on! Should I jump in now? Not yet. Now? Not yet. Ah! Uh. Now? Not yet. Uh, 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 uh. Why did I make him anatomically correct? Uh. Why did I look? Why did I look? Ew! <laughs> you have a gentle touch, James. My pleasure, you highball. <laughs> Why did I look? Why did I look? I was royal taste up. I gotta tell you. This ain't good. Good heavens! James! James! Oh, so now Sir Jimmy's too good for my cooking. Anything yet? A little more! All right, that's perfect! Gangster TV. All gangsters, all the time. Good job, kid. Now get down here! Oh, oh. But be careful, it's slippery. What's all the racket? Yeah, I can barely hear myself think. What was I thinking about? Oh, yeah, boobs. Everybody, get in here. I'm gonna be on TV. You're gonna be on TV? It's like I'm living with John Stamos over here. I'd never been on TV before, unless they were calling me a possible suspect. What alleged perpetrator. <laughs> It made me so proud. Jimmy, you think they'll get Bobby De Niro to play you? Or someone sexy like that froggy face guy from Aerosmith. He's a guy? I've been whacking off to him for years. Nah, it's a documentary. I'll be playing myself. Next on Gangster TV, Jimmy Falcone. 
Diary of a Dirty Snitch. What? Jimmy Falcone was a capo in the Gambini crime family until this self-serving scumbag killed his boss and sold out his mob cronies. Sold out? The feds never paid me a red cent! Every gutter king needs his queen, so Jimmy married former stripper Cookie DeFazio. This good time floozy latched onto Jimmy like a pit bull on a trailer park toddler. How the hell did they get a video of me stripping? So that's where that tape wound up. But Jimmy had a fatal flaw, who went by the name of Cheech, an idiot man-child whose bumbling almost got them all killed. Can't argue there. I can't watch anymore. They made us look like scumbags. Hey, it wasn't so bad. They got our names right. Ah, who am I kidding? It was a smear job. We weren't scumbags, were we, Jimmy? Remember the classy people who used to come by the house? Joey Dirtbag, Larry the Pimp, Holly the Pornographer, back home. We was like royalty. Oh, you'll always be royalty to me, Cook. Now, come on, let's go fish the dead rats out of the septic tank. Ah! <laughs> That's for calling me a man-child. Jimmy, I want a juice box. Man, I've been keeping a lid on my criminal side so long, I feel rusty. Ah. That's better. I could rob that jewelry store or snatch that lady's purse. Hell, I could do both. Rob that jewelry store and then carry the jewels home in the purse. Good thinking, Jimmy boy. Nah, if I'm gonna do this, gotta be something big. Bingo. Oh man, what the hell am I doing? What are you waiting for? Some idiot left the keys in a truck full of money. Don't do it, Jimmy. If you get caught, that will mean the end of your witness protection. I ain't getting caught. But if you do, I can no longer protect you. Like you need this Gavon to protect you. Jimmy, you would be endangering the lives of your family. McCool's right, Jimmy. Yeah, Pop, don't do it. It is a lot of money, though. Teresa! I'm just saying. What? You guys took all the good costumes. All right, I made up my mind. I'm pretty sure I can risk it. Jimmy, no! But I won't risk it for my family. I already put him through this once. I ain't gonna do it again. Hurry! Oh, can I... Hurry up and steal the truck. I need booze money. I just hallucinated loot people crawling all over you. Hey! Some idiot left the keys in this truck. Well, Jimmy, I guess it's back to jerking bulls. Remember the old days when we were short on cash? We'd just throw a junior good fella under a bus and fleece the transit company for the insurance. Oh, yeah. The good old days. Can I wash these down with a little scotch? Nope. Doctor's orders. I'm sorry for everything I put you through, Cook. I got you a little something. Oh, Jimmy. I love you. Jesus Christ. Give me a bottle, I'm hallucinating again. All right, Jimmy, I'm calling in every favor you owe me. Help me whack this scumbag. Since when do I owe you any favors? He's disrespecting a Falcone name and he's making money off it. Which kind of makes me respect the guy. Cheech, what the hell are you doing? Tony Cheech is about to go to work for Industrial Light and Tragic. <gasps> Teresa, watch out! It's okay, it's okay. Teresa's fine. Yeah, we're gonna need five more Canadians. All right, you moron. How'd you steal my face? Whoa, Cheech Falcone, what are you doing here? Hey, Jimmy, since we're playing the name game, you mind telling us yours so we can put it on your tombstone? It's me, Enzo, uh, f from Brooklyn. I narrow it down a little, I know like 50 Enzos from Brooklyn. Enzo Pistone. I ran Pistone's Pizzatorium. Uh, you guys ordered from me all the time. Why you into personating Cheech? Ah, it's like this. I always wanted to be a director in Hollywood, but who's gonna hire a guy that smells like anchovies? So take a shower. When you guys disappeared, I got an idea. I moved to LA, shaved my head, slapped on a mustache, and pretended to be Cheech. <laughs> what are you, insane? Why Cheech? There's no way I could pull off being you, Jimmy. I don't smoke. Anyway, I got a job as an advisor on mob movies. They call me 
Il Consultieri. The hell do you know about being a good fella? Nothing. I just tell him stuff I know from other mob movies. Bada boom, bada bing. I'm a gonna shoot you. I'm a shooter you. You do realize there's a contract out on Cheech. So what? I'm in Hollywood. They're great at keeping secrets. Especially once you join Scientology. What's this? <laughs> it's a sweet gig, Jimmy. I get free food. They pay me in cash. I got a fancy car to drive and a hotel room you wouldn't believe. Congrats, Enzo. You just got some partners. He had me at free food. Jimmy, do you know what I do all day when you're at work? That's between you and Dr. Roz. I drive around town paying our bills in cash. I'm tired of living like this, and I'm sick of lugging this around. Don't you think it's time we got a credit card? What are you talking about? You got lots of those. None with my real name on them. Besides, McCool took them away. Like it's a crime to use someone else's credit card. Ah, you don't want one of them. What if someone steals it? Buys an Asian bride off the internet? You bad man! You promised better life! Jimmy, I want to live beyond our means, like normal people. All right, Cook. If you want a credit card so bad, I'll get you one. How the hell do you get a credit card? That's easy. You steal a lady's purse, you take her card. Bada boom, bada bing. I mean legitimately. I got nothing. Oh, for Christ's sake, you open a bank account! Fine! I'll dig up the nest egg and put it in a bank! You don't gotta yell. Cheech, get me a shovel. No problem. Ming, jam wa cha! Get your own damn shovel! How you doing? I'm Gina Falcone. I may only be a kid, but I ain't no bed wet and twerp. I take care of myself. Like this one time back in New York? Hey, Ma! Pops! Where is everybody? The rest of the family was in such a rush to get to Coney Island, they left me! Home alone! So it was up to me to protect our house and have a little fun. I was expecting a kid to set cute little traps. This is almost too easy. Easy? You know, when you say that, you really devalue what we do. Yeah, I don't like kitty movies. All that violence. It's so fake. When it comes to violence, I prefer what Petey would call realism. Don't bother begging for mercy. Oh, my poor baby! I'm so... What the hell? Crap. Busted. Gina, how many times I gotta tell you? Not in the house. You're gonna get us all pinched. Anyway, now that we live in the most boring town on the planet, I'm gonna make my own fun. Ma, I'm going out. Don't forget your mittens. Is anyone else concerned that she's... Forget about it! I can't believe Benny stole from me after I treated him like my own son. You treat your own son like crap. Well, there you go. I treated him better than my own son. We don't need Petey to find this clown. We'll do it our way. Where's Benny? Who? Where's Benny? What's a Benny? Where's Benny? Ah, sh Sorry, sister. Such language! Oh! <laughs> You know, Jimmy, as nuns go, she was actually pretty, uh, gentle. <laughs> Once we get power, we should put in a big screen TV and a jukebox. And a bubble machine, Jimmy. Nothing says man cave like a bubble machine. I thought this place was empty. It's supposed to be. Come on. Hey, maybe it's one of them polter ghosts. You mean geist. What the hell's a geist -a ghost? There's nothing here. How's it going, eh? Who the hell are you? And what are you doing in our clubhouse? I'm Mike, that's Ricky, and this here's Kenny. Thanks for giving me one of my beers. It's ghost beer now, Jimmy. Let it go. Something tells me you're not the new owners. Well, no. We smelled fresh brew, door was open. The mat said welcome. Would have been kind of rude not to come in, you know? Well, you guys are still trespassing. <sighs> come on, fellas. Let's go find a snowbank where we can drink in peace until the cops come. <laughs> Don't worry, Kenny. We'll find a warm place to drink this amazing beer. <laughs> really? You guys like it? Like it? It's the best. It's even better than what you get at the beer store. And I bet around here, we wouldn't have to worry about being cut off 
because we're all intoxicated. Or because they're closed. I know what that's like. You know what? Make yourself at home, boys. Cheers, fellas. Welcome to our club, where men are free to do whatever they want to do. What the hell are you doing, Cheech? I'm taking a dump on the floor. <clears throat> Freedom! Sweet Kiefer Sutherland, Jimmy. Why you gotta make such a big deal? It's just a few home security items. Just having that one within our borders violates the Geneva Convention. This is just like Chuck Heston warned us. One day the government's gonna show up and take all our guns. Next thing you know, we're in camps, getting brainwashed about evolution and global warming. I got a constitutionary right to bear arms. Yeah, you can't tell people what to do with their sleeves. Perhaps you possessed that right when you were American, but you're Canadian now. It's true, Pop. Canada's Charter of Rights and Freedoms does not protect gun ownership. Or as they say in Quebec, la Charte canadienne des droits et libertés ne protège pas la possession d'armes. I memorized it in both official languages. Now you're turning my own son against me. And you got him talking Spanish. Is this everything? You're not holding out on me, are you? Me? Hold out on a cop? Never! Then what's that slight bump on your waistband? I'm a little excited. Thanks for noticing. Lift your shirt, Jimmy. Is this how you get your kicks, McCool? You really ought to see a therapist. For Christ's sake, just hand it over! What?! You too?! McCool's right. Like it or not, we're Canadian. Don't you think it's time you assimilated? No! I've had this gun since I was ten! No one's taken Remington Steel! Hand it over, Jimmy. What if I don't? Then I shall be forced to arrest you. You'll be charged, tried, convicted, then remanded to jail. The days will be lonely and the nights long. Until your cellmate, Rusty, sells you to the skinheads who run the yard. No amount of toilet-brewed prison wine will erase the memory of their oddly gentle love. You want this gun, McCool? You're gonna have to pry it from my cold, dead pants. Hands, Jimmy. I think you mean hands. Whatever, you're not getting it. I'm a responsible gun owner. Hey, where'd it go? Dance, motherfucker! Dance! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting my rhythm. Today's modern woman faces many challenges, but none compare to the very real problem of BAS. Bony ass syndrome. Oh, here we go. Ladies and awkward teen boy, I give you... Hang on. Ass jacks! Whoa! I'd love to get one of those for my girlfriend. If I, you know, had a girlfriend. Hey, this is fun! Now I see why guys like these so much. Teresa, it's great you're applying yourself to something besides boys. But this is the stupidest thing i ever seen. Well, Ma, the stupidest thing you've ever seen is setting the Twitterverse on fire. Who the hell goes on the internet to look for big butts? Judging from Ass Jax's followers, flat-bottom girls with low self-esteem who want to jack up their asses. And a lot of dirty old men. Probably not our target market. Those are my Instagram followers, you idiot. You know... I'm starting to think you care more about money than you do about saving the Earth. That's ridiculous. I totally care about the Earth. I also care about the Russian businessman who lives on the Earth and happens to need your kidney. My what? <gasps> Are you guys going to take long? Of course not. Now we must take organs while fresh. <laughs> Hey, sleepyhead. <gasps> so, 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 so cold. Yeah, about that. I had a slight miscommunication with these guys. I thought they were just taking a kidney, but they wanted everything. Heart, lungs, even your doodad, which the one guy wanted for a necklace. What? But I couldn't let them do it. Oh, thank God. Petey, I may have been using your dumb infatuation with the Earth to get important things like money, and I'm sorry. I know, it's okay. In the end, you stuck up for your little brother, which warms my frozen heart. Your heart could have got me ten grand, but I'm glad it's still inside you. Ah! You're freezing, you little freak! You're trying to kill me! Broken hips and wrinkly lips, a geriatric review. I don't know how you did it, but this is definitely a surprise. 
I gotta admit, I'm kinda hurt you didn't trust me, Cook. Give me two. Good seats. Three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks? Man, I should become a scalper. Is that word offensive to you people? Not at all. Five hundred bucks. It's the me! It's the you! It's the me! It's the you! What a show! What? Huh? Oh, yeah! Bravo! I loved it! Uh. Especially that one song, Hot Flash Dance. I like the number where they fell and couldn't get up. It really spoke to me. Let's go backstage, Jimmy. I want to get an autograph. You coming? Nah, I'm gonna head home and see what I can do with the hole I blew in my laptop. If there's a tie on my door, don't come in. This job must be so much fun. When I was a kid, I wanted to be on Broadway. When I was a kid, I wanted to extort the unions on Broadway. <gasps> Jimmy? Are, are you Jimmy Falcone? What? No, you got the wrong guy. I don't know no Jimmy Falcone. Ah, crap, you didn't recognize. Go call him a cool. All right, if it comes down to it and you got a whacker, get me an autograph first. Listen, lady, if I was you, I'd have a senior moment and forget you ever saw me. It's me, kid. It's you? You who? Me, your pop, Sal Falcone. Listen, you sick maniac, my pop is dead. And I'm not Jimmy Falcone. Drop the act, Jimmy. I know you're in witness protection. Don't worry, I'm not gonna rat out my own son. I hate to break it to you, Looney Tunes, but my father was a man. Not anymore, I ain't. Come here, kid. So, it's probably wrong that I have a boner right now, isn't it? Mom, Pop ruined my underwear! He made me go to bed at 6.30 last night. I've been up since 3 a.m. I ain't naming no names, but a certain fat ass ruined my homework. Jimmy! I need a change. What the hell? Look at this freaking place! There's footprints on the ceiling, the TV's on fire, and why am I standing in three feet of water? Oh, for God's sake, where's your father? Jimmy! Hey, Cook. What the hell's going on here? Nice to see you, too. Look at this place. What exactly do you do all day? Besides work, nine to five? Okay, ten to three? Eleven to two with a long lunch? I'm busting my butt at the restaurant 24-7, and you can't even keep this house going? Me? What kind of mother leaves her family starving and laundryless and having to figure out the capitals of Canada all by themselves? What about your womanly duties? Oh, of course, my womanly duties. How could I forget? Remind me again what those are. Like having dinner ready on the table for your husband? Like it says in the Bible? What part of the Bible says that? You know, the part where Jesus fights the whale. I thought this restaurant thing was gonna be a nice little hobby. Did you just say nice little hobby? That's it, I'm out of here. Where you going? Back to work, where I get some respect. I respect you plenty. It's not like I told you to get in the kitchen, take off your top and make me a sandwich. Which actually sounds pretty good. Ah. <laughs> I just got rolled by a fucking raccoon. Ever since I got up today, I've been feeling off balance. And I got a persistent itch in my trigger finger. Don't you see, Pop? When you gave McCool your gun, you gave up an essential part of your American identity. You're right! Now I gotta steal it back. That's gonna be hard to do with no gun. Or you could finally embrace life as a Canadian. How the hell do I do that? By embarking on a long voyage of introspection and self-discovery. Self-discovery? Like what you were doing when I walked in here? No, I'm talking about a spiritual makeover. Did someone say makeover? What? My fashion sense was tingling. Jeans, jean shirt, and a jean jacket. It's a Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> These jeans are too tight. <sighs> ah! What was that? My balls just went back in. <gasps> and they're out. I still don't get why I'm tied up. I'm gonna teach you the most important part of being Canadian. You need to suppress your innate American urge for self-preservation and apologize to me. For what? Ow, your mother! It's the Canadian way. I wrong you, you say sorry to me. Ow! Ow! You're grounded. What are you doing? I'm using aversion therapy to turn pop Canadian. That's for grounding me last week. That's for taking away my makeup. That's for not letting me date a black guy. It wasn't racial. He was 40 years old. Oh! <sighs> Thanks, Petey. I feel a lot better. Sorry. 
sorry. Really f***ing sorry. I believe we've made a breakthrough. Uh-uh-uh! <sighs> Look at these freeloaders living off the government like a bunch of war widows. Those stinking widows get all the breaks. <laughs> What the hell? Hi, Pop. Petey, what are you doing up there? I'm observing the neighbors for an anthropology paper. Hosers in the mist. I've collected fascinating data on their nesting patterns. I'm hoping to analyze a sample of their droppings. Some of them droppings are mine. How long you been up there? This is day six. You're hiding up a tree, spying on three men. Is that something I need to know about you, kid? No, but could you empty my pee jug? Whoa! Cool. Tell these morons to turn their music down. I wish I could, Jimmy, but Canadian classic rock from the 80s is their cultural birthright. Would you tell an Indian not to bang a drum? A Quebecer not to eat poutine? An Albertan not to marry his cousin? Oh, my parents were cousins. No, wait. Siblings. Hey, Jimmy! I got someone who wants to say hi! <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Looking good, mate. So it's Cheech sneaking around. Sorry I punched you in the face, Jimmy. I don't remember that. You were sleeping. That explains the loose tooth. Look at Cheech's clothes. In the old days, he only ever dressed up to pull a job. That knucklehead's gonna get us all in trouble. We better follow him. How are we supposed to do that if he's got the car? I know we're probably following Cheech on some depraved crime spree, but this is fun! This is what McCool was talking about. I got a bicycle seat up my ass. How exactly is this fun? Why didn't you just take Petey's bike? I thought this was Petey's bike. It's worse than we thought. Cheech is going into a crack den. Nah, nobody dresses up for a crack den. It's probably just a whorehouse. We gotta get Cheech out of there before he gets pinched. Let's do this nice and quiet. Ah, screw it. Let's just do it loud and mean. Yeah! Jimmy? What are you doing here? Me? What about you? You sneaking around for a dance class? Why didn't you just tell me? No offense, Jimmy, but I got a life outside of you, you know. This looks like fun. Jimmy, maybe ballroom dancing is just what we need to spend some quality time together. Why not? Beats riding bikes. May I have this dance? No, 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 you cannot dance together. Your bodies are, how you say, incompatible. You are built like pickle barrel, and you are bag of oatmeal. Hey, you're more suited to Juan Carlos. Nice to meet you, Juan Carlos. <laughs> oh, someone's a smooth talker. <laughs> you, what's his name? Name is Jimmy. I, Svetenka. Now dance me. Dance me long and hard. Please don't hurt me. If Svetenka can't have Yimmy, no one can. I never understood that about stalkers. You love the guy, so why kill him? It's stupid. So, I kill you first? Did I say stupid? Let me rephrase that. Svetanka, you're never gonna have me, so you might as well just kill us. <gasps> but before you do, can I have one last dance with my wife? Da, one more time you flop around like puppets, then I shoot you. <laughs> you look like circus bear boxing kangaroo. <laughs> Now that's what I call dancing. Jimmy, you're a genius. Well, I got my moments. Yeah! Jimmy, look out! Gina, good job. Beat! Why'd you hit Cheech? Yeah, I was on a roll. Pop, you get the quick line, I'll chop her up. See, isn't this nice? We're doing stuff together. It's quality time, just like McCool said. Good news, Jimmy. Svetanka's visa has expired. We can deport. Oh, God, is she dead? 
Nah, but give us five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, McCool, you lost weight. Oh, what's wrong with your face? Guess who's gonna be a junior cop? What do you mean, junior cop? I signed up with the Provincial Internship Group of Law Enforcement Trainees. My only male heir is gonna be a frickin' piglet? Hey, just like Cousin Carlo. Good old Cousin Carlo. The crookedest cop in all the five boroughs. Hey, officer, stop that. I just need a parent to sign this permission form. No son of mine's joining the Bacon Brigade. McCool said you might feel this way. McCool? It's bad enough he's got me on the straight and narrow. Now he's brainwashing my boy? You got all the mentor you need right here. What am I supposed to learn from you? Plenty. Robbery, extortion, pandering. I'm like a college of wise guy knowledge. Oh, for God's sake. Here you go, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. You're letting him join the pork patrol? What kind of parent are you? He's just being a rebellious teenager. At least he's not getting drunk like his wino sister. Hey! Shut up, Rummy. Well, I ain't living with no 5-0. Don't worry, I'll make it look like an accident. Gina, no garroting your brother. When did you stop being fun? You guys won't believe what happened. Petey got a date? Pfft, no, I got a summer job. No way. Good for you, kid. I remember my first job. I made a mint off that blue-tinted peanut brittle. What kind of job is it? That's what I want to know, but Teresa won't tell me. Well, I could tell you. Or I could show you. I don't like this. Suppose her summer job is whacking us. You been drinking paint dinner again? Think about it. She tricks us with this BS job story, drives us to the middle of nowhere, and pow! Remind me to compliment her before I put one in a dimple. That's my firstborn you're talking about! If anyone's gonna shoot her, it'll be me. All right, take off the blindfolds. Holy crap! We're all the way back in New York! Teresa, were you speeding? What did we say about speeding, young lady? It's like a dream! Except Mama's not chasing me with the knife! I knew it! She set us up! Ah, it's good to be back. And cut! What? That's a wrap! We're not actually in New York. I got a job on a big Hollywood movie filming right here in Regina. So this is a set? What's the movie? It's called Wise Guys vs. Aliens. That sounds arty farty. Wait, was there a casting couch involved when you got hired? No, I'm just an assistant. It's actually a really easy job. Standing around all day sure is hard on your feet. Please, take my chair. I'll sit on the floor. Oh, thanks, Mr. Spielberg. I better get to work. I got ten long hours of sitting, eating, and texting ahead of me. Kid sounds like an old pro already. Come on, let's take a look around. Wait, I know this door. Rizzo! Open up or I'll break your legs. You still owe me a C note. Rizzo! Rizzo! Rizzo's been dead for ten years, you moron! Nice try, Rizzo. Welcome to High School Equivalency 101. I'm Mr. Russo. Is that gonna be on the test? No. Now, I know many of you are going through some life changes. Divorce, midlife crisis, menopause. Don't forget parole. But this is your one chance. Add a second chance. So seize it. Actually, you can take the test as often as you like. I just said that for dramatic effect. Is any of that gonna be on the test? No. But since you're so interested in tests, let's start with a practice one. Hey, Teach, you forgot the eyes and mouth on this smiley face. Actually, that's a zero. What? Don't I even get a point for spelling my name right? You didn't. Who the hell's Jimmo? This is gonna be harder than I thought. I gotta figure out a way to pass this class. Want to join my study group? Beat it, nerd. Jimmy, it's been 30 years since you were in school. You gotta get used to being a student again. <gasps> but how? I don't even remember what it was like being a student. <laughs> Probably because I majored in hooky. You'll figure it out. Anyways, listen, this broad in our class, Debbie, lost custody of her kids. And? 
And they're having a kegger at her place. You coming? F yeah. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> It's all coming back to me now. This is just like when I was in high school. There's the snobby prom queen. Uh, no, I don't want a beer. Leave me alone, nerd. The drug pushing preppy. Come on, Cindy. All your peers are doing it. My peers? Well, in that case. And who can forget the slutty girl? Oh! You know what, Cheech? Maybe this high school thing ain't gonna be so bad after all. The second chance. The second chance is. Oh God, Cindy has no pulse. Pop, wait. <clears throat> you got the stuff. You got the money. Ow! Ah, the mother. Who's in your trunk? A cop? What the hell you doing, Pop? What's it look like? I'm selling weed. You kidding me? Hey, you can take the fella out of good fella, but that don't make him good. What the hell you doing here? All right, I don't like surprises. We're gonna have to plug you two. The hell you will. Pop, I don't care about you becoming a broad, but why the hell did you leave me? Wait a sec. This lady's your father? Yeah, I used to be a man. Deal with it. Do you got any idea how tough it was growing up without a dad around? What? You think it didn't tear my heart out to leave? You abandoned your own kid? That's unconscionable. Let's kill her. Wait, wait. I want to see where this is going. If I stayed and got caught, do you think you would have ever grown up to be a capo? Nah, you would have been a laughingstock. See? What choice did she have? Well, he could have suppressed his desire to be a woman and raised his son. That would have made for a real healthy father-son relationship. You better forgive your dad, mister. You mind your business. Yeah! Jimmy, can you ever forgive me? Yeah, after all, you was just looking out for me. I'm sorry I had to leave. Come here, you. <gasps> uh, I'm, I'm gonna go call my stepdads. All seven of them. <laughs> Are you crying too? Don't look at me! <laughs> Pop, before you head out of town, let's enjoy the time we have together. I'd like that, Jimmy. Now what do you say we take these jokers' guns away and kick the shit out of them? Way ahead of you, kid. Come here! Brown meat in pan. This stuff's red, but it'll have to do. Add onion. Done. Why doesn't it look like the picture? Daddy, I need help with my homework. I'm a little busy, but... What's the capital of Canada? That's easy, capital C. Daddy, I only ate gluten-free. Is that gluten-free? Don't worry, I ain't gonna charge ya. Pop, I broke Yetzi's jaw. Good for you, son. But he's my friend. So you straightened out your friend. I'm proud of you. But I feel like a monster. I said I'm proud of you. Quit fishing for compliments. Daddy, can you hand wash my bras and panties? Oh, I ain't touching that stuff. Pop, what's in a nook, sugar? Mom does it. Pop, is that meat sauce? I don't eat anything with a face. We're having face for dinner? I wanted chicken fingers. Daddy, I gotta make a solar system. Daddy, oh, I need clean panties. Pop, I almost killed Yetzi. I wanted chicken fingers. I think I need Counseling! Pop, I almost killed Yetzi! Chicken fingers! Yeah! That's it! Go to bed, all of you! But it's only 6.30. I said go to bed! You know what? Change my order to face. You too, Cheech! Bed! But Jimmy! Do I have to take off this belt? I'll be good! How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone. I used to be part of a crime family in New York, and like any father, I wanted to see if my son was cut out for the family business. But you can't just jump into extortion, racketeering, and murder. You gotta take baby steps. See that guy delivering papers on your block? Your turf? Don't you want a piece of that action? Go! Uh, there you go! <laughs> Look out! <laughs> He's supposed to beat the kid up and take his money. What's he doing? He's working, Jimmy. Makes me sick. Okay, so we find someone weaker. Build the kid's confidence. See that old deadbeat? He's behind on his payments. Take care of him. My first assault was an old guy, too. Look at him. This is humiliating. Ow! What the hell? What's this about you grooming Petey to take over the family business? What? No! I can't believe picked him over me. It's not like that. Fine. One day, I'm gonna start my own crew, and I will bury you, fat man. 
Anyhow, I realized Petey wasn't cut out for gangster. No s***, Sherlock. But hey, now that I live in Regina and work in an office, maybe my son will finally follow in my footsteps. Actually, Pop, I'm gonna be a physicist. Yeah, right. Like you could ever be a gym teacher. <laughs> Forget about it. I can't take this no more. We gotta fight back. Our first mistake was not bringing guns. Wait a sec. McCool might have a gun. Ah, oh, I'm way ahead of you. What are you doing? Passing the time till help comes. Give me that. Find something to make clothes. We're going outside. Hey, we could have just burned this stuff. All right, Chick Magnet, get him up. Get him up? You sound like a no good cop. Let's see them hands. Yippee ki yay, Sheriff. Oh, you making fun of me? Nah, just kidding around, officer. Spit it out. You saying I gone soft? No, oh, I'm saying I'd have shot the guy already. Oh, yeah? How's that? You missed. The old snowman decoy trick works every time, except in summer. You're a disgrace, Chick Magnet, turning your back on your badge for a few lousy bucks. More like a million bucks, Jimmy. What? Me and Cheech are worth a million bucks to the mob? Just for you. For Cheech, I get a coffee maker. Oh, I went up. I used to be worth a three-pack of tube socks. The only coffee you'll be brewing will be in prison, Chick Magnet. McCool! You're alive! Now who am I gonna have for lunch? Your humble shirt and pants fire was enough to temporarily spur my immune system, Jimmy. Now let's see how your immune system handles a hot lead injection, Donkey Dong. <laughs> ah! Horse! Good boy! Give him hell, horsey! Stop it, horse! You're only stomping lifeless pulp! Up on, boys! No sense riding on an empty stomach. Let's roast up the G-Man before we go. Enough with the cannibalism! What do you want from me? I got a craving. I can't believe Petey's turning his back on our way of life. He's giving up pasta? No! He's rejecting my whole family heritage. I rejected mine, too, when I gutted my father like a goat. Yeah, but Gramps had it coming. I guess the wisdom of our ancestors is gonna die with me. Don't worry, Jimmy. If you die, I'll eat enough pasta for both of us. Out of the car! Oh no, not you guys again! I'll give you a head start, punk. Please, don't hurt me! I'm new at this. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm pathetic. I can't mug anyone. I totally blew carjacking. I'll never figure out how to be a criminal. I'll never figure out how to be a criminal. Guess who's gonna be a junior cop? Criminal. Cop. Criminal. Cop. Criminal. Come with me if you want to learn. Are you a Terminator? No, kid. I'm a learninator. Enough with the fucking rhymes, Jimmy. Who do you think you are, Mother Goose? If you're gonna hide out in Mexico, stay away from the senior readers. Before you know it, you'll have eight kids in a job cutting lawns in El Paso. What the hell is this now? It's my mule. McCool lent him to me for being a junior super cop. Congratulations. An ass for an ass. Ha! <laughs> Good one, Mr. Jimmy. Uh, who are you? Well, since you're so busy being super cop, I decided to mentor this wayward kid. I gotta take a dump. That Mr. Jimmy's such a great guy. You're lucky he's your dad. Listen, Bernie, is it? You probably think you're special to my dad, but he's using you, just like he used Cheech's Mexican stepkids to work his lawn care racket in El Paso. Papa Cheech, please don't go back to New York. Get back to work. So Mr. Jimmy's just using me? Why? To get back at me. And once he's done, he'll drop you right back in the gutter. Tell him not to bother. I can drop myself in the gutter. <laughs> Ma, you should not be driving. Shut up. I'm going to the store for wine. And breath mints, in case I get pulled over. Ma'am, have you been drinking? I'm fine. Step out of the vehicle, ma'am. I'm fine. 
I'm fine. Ma'am, you're under arrest for drunk driving. What the hell are you doing? Sir, I have the situation under control. I need you to step back. I'm gonna step into your ass if you don't take off those bracelets. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it burns! You were warned, sir. <gasps> There's my beautiful wife. If you was barefoot, this picture would be perfect. Okay, what'd you do? Ooh, was that a kick I felt? No, it was last night's eggplant pump. What's wrong with you? You fall in the shower or something? No, I'm talking about our baby. <gasps> Jimmy, this test is negative. I was a little late and just, you know, wanted to be sure. But I ain't pregnant. Nobody's pregnant. Oh, thank you, baby Jesus. This is the happiest day of my life. Next time, I'll pull out earlier so you don't gotta worry. <gasps> don't you move, young lady. That's not mine. It's for a friend. She had a little scare, but everything's fine. Oh, really? What's your friend's name? Soriso? Your father found this. If he knew it was yours, he'd slap a chastity belt on you and swallow the key. Lucky for you, I covered for you. Phew, dodged that bullet. Thanks, Ma. Not so fast, Teresa Maria Falcone. We're not done here. Not by a long shot. Will you relax? You should just be glad I'm not pregnant. Now we don't have to guess who the father is. Oh! <gasps> Think before you talk, Teresa. What are you doing? They're gonna need your measurements down at the nunnery. I can't believe you tracked Benny down so fast. How'd you do it? Forensics? Informants? You hire a psychic? <laughs> no, I found them selling our stuff on Craigslist. Way to go, Columbo. And my outfit's essential to the plan, right? Because if not, you're grounded. You must be Ingmar and Brunhilda. Brunhilda? Yeah, you're grounded. Which one of you is Ingmar? Yeah, yeah, that's me. My wife and I are looking to buy an entire house full of stuff. I got a house full of stuff to sell. A lot of this stuff is tacky crap, so I'll give it to you cheap. Yeah. You agreed! By the book! Oh, right. Sorry, son. <gasps> Mr. Jimmy! <laughs> Ow! That hurt! Hey, I taught him that move. Pop, he's getting away! Don't worry. I got this. <laughs> oh! Petey, you're brilliant! It's just like that game with the mousetrap. What's it called? Oh! Mousetrap! Petey, no! Do it by the book! Screw the book. This time, it's personal. Wasn't it always personal? Come on, take the shot. <laughs> I can't do it! Good for you, kid. He's a dumbass punk, but he don't deserve to die. You did the right thing. He could walk away from that. Maybe not. Pop, stay with me. Pop, Pop, we're not that different. Sure, I'll never be a crook, but I'm still your son. Pop, Pop, Pop! <laughs> you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, now known as McDougal. They say there's two things you can't avoid in life, death and taxes. Wise guys don't pay taxes, which only leaves death. Back in the old neighborhood, the funeral home was doing great business. The guy who ran the place was rolling in dough, strutted around like he owned a freaking neighborhood. So, we took over the joint. You're fired. <laughs> At first, it was great. But after a while, my guys were so busy working funerals, none of them were out on the street causing the funerals. I realized you can be a gangster or an undertaker, but you can't be both. Now I live in Regina, Saskatchewan, which is about as much fun as a funeral home. And it's got more.
more stiffs. <laughs> I actually find Regina relaxing. Petey, this town's D-O-A. Forget about it. This is so much fun. I ain't been this relaxed in months. Exploiting another human being for my own amusement just melts the tension. Must be the bellhop with the new bed. Took him long enough. Oh! Uh, is that the guy whose car we hit with the TV? Nah, Canucks don't shoot. They just give you a respectful talking to. I think Hollywood Enzo ratted us out. Why are we running? You could have took that guy. I left my gun in my pants. Like you need a gun. True, but I don't fight naked. Learn that lesson from one nut nunzio. Ah! Turn around. I don't want the whole world seeing your cans in my sausage. Whoa, memory foam really works. I'm still not tipping them. Can you believe this is the only job we could get? I got 20 years experience running a family business, but no freaking references. You know who'd have been a good reference? Don Gambini. He thought the world of you. Till you whacked him. Welcome to Blue Ball Ranch, boys. What we do here is extract bull semen for export. And how exactly do we do that? Same way you do at home. You mean in front of the window? With the neighbors watching? <laughs> oh! Ho, ho. Ah, God, my arm is tired. Your arm? Uh, Petey? Yeah, Pop? I need you. I need you. You need a helicopter? <laughs> You're having a stroke? <laughs> Timmy's in the well? Timmy's in the well? Help! I need your freaking help! All right, you got it. But if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it my way. You're gonna become a lean, mean learning machine. When I'm through with you, you're gonna eat Latin and crap prime numbers. <laughs> Read. Faster, faster. <clears throat> Read, read. Okay, but why is he exercising? Because that's the way he learns. Pick it up, faster, faster. Slow down, check your work, check your answers. 41, 42, 43, 57, 58, 59, 12 times 12, 144. Again. Again. Right. So? Push harder. Educated guess. Fill it in. Yeah. Oh, yay! Read, read, read. How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, former New York capo. In the old life, the feds were always up in my business. These guys had ears everywhere, and by ears, I mean bugs. But I didn't let that keep me from being a normal family man. Someone! That's my girl. Messing with the feds was a game. I got the fat bastard right here, and I'm gonna chop off his legs and feed him to the dogs. On the ground, now! Ha ha, gotcha. Oh, good one, Jimmy. I'd offer you guys a turkey sandwich, but f you. If it was real important, we talk in code. But that came with its own problems. Cheech, I need you to pick up the magic potion from the Maharaja and take it to the wizard. And make sure you look into his crystal ball. Gabish? Gabish. By magic potion, you mean he ate keys of heroin, right? On the ground, now! Now that I'm in witness protection living in Canada, I don't ever gotta worry about bugs again. Forget about it. Finally, a little peace and quiet. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, seriously? And he's like, tote, seriously. Wow, so you do have genital warts. <laughs> Restaurant's closed! You want a doggy bag? Bag this! Freaking mind! I can't stand it no more, Cook! I tried
being supportive, but this restaurant thing is tearing our house apart! Shwash! Baby, I need you! The kids need you! Shut down this circus and let's be a family again! Wait, you said I was great! You said I deserved success! And now you're running around like a freaking animal killing my business! We're shutting this place down too! Oh well, beat sawn off hands. Ah, crap. That was you? How could you do that to me? Cookie, I'm sorry, I was losing my mind. You have no idea how hard it is to run a household on your own. I don't? You looked after the house for a week, Jimmy. I've been doing it for 16 years. Enjoy sleeping on the couch, mister, because you ain't getting nowhere near my meat locker tonight. That's kind of a weird thing to call your vit Oh, you mean the bedroom. Ow! If you want this <laughs> shrimp cocktail, you're gonna have to throw some pants on. Well, kid, you really did it this time. They're gonna kick you out of school. Yes! Unless you take this medication. No! They're putting me on drugs? It's called a pacify. It reduces psychotic tendencies in children. Side effects may include dry mouth, disorientation, nausea, and increased thoughts of murder. Huh. Well, I'm sure they wouldn't prescribe it if it wasn't 100% safe. Tell that to Mr. Flip. His ma took thalidomide. Look how he turned out. Mr. Flip turned out just fine. It's not his fault he's a monster. I ain't taking him. I don't like this either. But if you don't, they'll take you away from us and send you to a special school where you gotta wear a helmet. You always told me drugs was bad. This is medicine. It comes from a nice man in a laboratory. Drugs come from a bad man on the street corner. You mean like the guys who used to work for Pop? Quit stalling, kid. Pill or helmet, your call. There, you happy? Your daughter's a freaking druggie now. Yeah, congrats! You just won Mother of the Year. Oh, God, I hope this is the right thing to do. Ah! Ah! Don't touch me with that thing. Ow! What the hell, Ma? You know that bear Gina has in her room with a dollar sign on it? Sure, sure. Money bear. Okay. I was in her room getting rid of anything that might be construed as evidence, and I think I might have threw a money bear. What? You know how Gina gets when you touch her stuff. Remember when you tried to get her off the pacifier? She was like a badger, clawing and scratching, and that sound she made. <laughs> I wore an eye patch for a year. Exactly, so I don't want to know about this. I can't believe my own daughter's gonna abandon me in a time when I'm in danger from my other daughter. What? Nothing? Nothing. it now. How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, alias McDougal. Back when I was a capo, keeping the family business away from my actual family was a freaking tap dance. Like the time Petey got himself a girlfriend, Peppa Malazzi, face like a pizza, but we're talking Petey here, so he had to take what he could get. Problem was, her old man was one of my business associates. Listen, kid, I got a feeling Pepperoni Face is gonna break up with you. Impossible! Pepper said I was the only boy for her. Yeah, the only boy willing to kiss a meat love is special, but it ain't that. It's her old man. Are you saying her father doesn't approve of me? It's actually me he ain't big on. We had a little... disagreement. Then how do you know I'm getting dumped? Call it a hunch. Her dad was in the trunk, wasn't he? Now that we live in Canada, I don't worry about that stuff no more. But at the time, it was very stressful. Oh, boo-hoo! Pepper was my first love, and you took her away from me. I still love you, Pep! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Forget about it! How you doing? I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a capo in a New York crime family. Now I'm Jimmy McDougal, living like a schnook in Canada. Now, gangstering wasn't exactly your safest line of work. Uh, got the twos? Go sleep with the fish. But that's exactly what I wanted. I lived danger. I breathed danger. Danger was my middle name. I never did forgive Ma for that. Don Gambini, we did as you asked. The charge is set. Pretty soon, tall Bobby is gonna be little Bobby Chunks. But if I may inquire, what exactly did tall Bobby do? He didn't show respect. 
Jimmy. It always felt like he was looking down at me. You too? I never did like that guy. Good riddance. In exactly ten. Nine. Cheech, when you were under tall Bobby's car, why didn't you set the charge? I did, just like you said. See? You were supposed to leave it under his car! You know, it's a wonder I lasted as long as I did. But just because I'm in witness protection now doesn't mean I don't still face danger. Because if you think minus 55 in January ain't real danger... Forget about it! Hello! I'm the Minister of Fish, Wildlife, and, uh, Nuclear War. We need to get into the Premier's office. Oh, yes, sir. I'll open it right up. Wait a second. How can you be the Minister of Fish, Wildlife, and Nuclear War when he's standing right over there? Hello! I told you we should have used Mr. Brown. Hey, McCool, thanks for meeting me. We had a little scare, and I'm gonna need some rubbers. A case a week should do. Don't tell God. <sighs> Can't you just buy them at the drugstore? What? You could just walk in and buy them up here? In the old neighborhood, you needed a sit down with Father O'Malley and the doctor's note. I had a connection upstate. One of the first guys to carry the French tickler. Are we finished here, Jimmy? McCool, what gives? Who died? Oh, just my career. A letter intended for my lady friend was mistakenly mailed to Premier O'Shea's office. So slap the mailman around. A fellow civil servant? Never. The problem is the letter contained photos of me. Playfully erotic ones. Oh! Ooh. When the Premier returns from his trade mission to Las Vegas, I'll be fired. Or at the very least, reassigned to one of Canada's bleaker outposts. Like Toronto. You have to text your dirty pictures, like I do. A true gentleman does not text boudoir photographs to a lady. It's a picture of your bing bong. Quit trying to class it up. You're right. There's nothing classy about what I did. But Canada! We're all degenerates wind up in Toronto. Poor bastard. You know, if we steal them pictures back for him and save his job, he'll owe us big time. Let's do it. We'll be ass deep in French ticklers. <laughs> What's wrong, Ma? Did you see Petey's internet history? Worse. He turned your father into a Canadian, and now he's not himself. You probably don't want to hear this, but our walls are real thin, and I know you and Dad are having a <coughs> intimacy problem. Oh, God, the thought of... You listening? I know this is going to sound wrong, but... But I think I can help. Not another <coughs> word. Teresa, this problem runs a lot deeper than what... Oh, you're talking about... Ma, he's an Italian guy. It don't go any deeper than that. You need to make him jealous. When one of my boyfriends doesn't pay attention to me, I flirt with someone else. You should do that. Jesus, forgive me for talking to my daughter about this. Let me get this straight. All I need is some stud to slobber all over me, Jimmy gets jealous, turns into the gorilla that he is, and everything's back to normal? Exactly. And then we never speak of this again. Yes. <laughs> Please. But first... <laughs> we're going to confession. Don Liz, i just been informed of your importance to the organization, and I want to offer my most humble apologies. You may rise. Look, we've been acting like a bunch of morons. Why don't we start over and I'll show you how we entertain a person of your statue. Break out the grappa! Jimmy, I don't think this is a good idea. These good people have opened their home to me, and I would like to enjoy their hospitality. Your Majesty. Enough of your blathering and hectoring. Away with you! You heard the broad. Away with you. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Tonga police. Are you accepting resumes? <laughs> <laughs> so, Your Majesty, will Prince Harry be joining us? I don't know, my dear. Let me call him. Really? Certainly not! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> oh, my! Let me get this straight. Your family's been in power for like a hundred years. How'd you pull that off? Sometimes one must rule with an iron fist. Spoken like a true tyrant. Spoken like a true nobody. Iron fist. No fingerprints. You sure you ain't from Brooklyn? 
All right, this'll be a cinch. We sweet talk his secretary, get in his office, and grab the envelope. <laughs> Say no more, Jimmy. They don't call me old sugar lips for nothing. Hey, pal, is Premier O'Shea's secretary around? If you mean administrative assistant, that's me. A man's secretary! Aboard! Aboard! <sighs> What's wrong with you? Guys can have lady jobs. It's the 20th century. I got spooked, but this is good. Now that it's a guy, we just rough him up and barge in. In a government building? Are you nuts? We gotta go back to that drawing board. Sounds good. Now I can finish that picture of a duck. Where's my crayons? The high priests apologize. The vision was mistaken? No! The vision was right! I'm the freaking Bali Lama, I swear to God! You guys believe in God, right? Cause I'm him! Her! It! You need a mint. Stupid girl, you're not the Pali Lama. You're the embodiment of evil. Ah, sh A 30-year vow of silence down the crapper. Ow! What did I do? I hope you get reincarnated as a tapeworm in a starving donkey. Gina, look! They had the right vision, but the wrong address. Should we tell them to come back? Nah, f that guy. All right, boys, do your business. I can't believe this. I went my whole life without having to clean up after a dog. Ugh. Yeah, look at a bright side. At least it's a small dog. Yeah, keep smiling. If you wasn't so connected, I'd put a fucking bullet in you. That's it, Liz! I can't do this no more! Whatever are you talking about, James? Look, I know you think living like a schnook is all good times, but you gotta get back to your old life before someone, and I'm not naming any dogs, gets hurt. But for the first time in years, I feel like I can breathe. New schedules, no international crises, new buck-tooth politicians looking for a pat on the back from a substitute mother figure. Come on, Liz, you're the queen of frickin' England. You can snap your fingers and get room to breathe. My subjects expect so much of me, James. Yeah, well, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices for the good of great. Great or good? Yeah, that's the one. Look at me. I gave up my whole life for the sake of my family. No, you didn't. You ran like a scared little snitch to save your red ass. Go to your room! I'm already going, snitch. All I'm saying is, Sometimes, you gotta give the people what they want, even if it means giving up what you want. All right, all right, I'll give them their goddamn prom. Get off my freaking back. James, your son appears to be angry and bleeding. Ah, teenagers, what are you gonna do? In any case, thanks to your rousing speech, I have decided to return to my royal duties. Yes! Hello, Tonga police. I'd like to cancel my interview tomorrow. Oh, now you tell me the precinct has an ocean view. Petey, why are my Cosmo pages all stuck together? Whoa, what are you doing? I realized what my biggest problem is when it comes to girls. That you're a complete loser? No, not that. The problem is I don't know how to break the ice. So I built a robot to do it for me. You sure that's a good idea? Last time you built one, it didn't work out so well. First rule of Robot Fight Club, build a robot. <laughs> Second rule of Robot Fight Club, program that robot to fight. <laughs> PDBot is programmed to meet, charm, and disarm girls. Then I step in to seal the deal. <laughs> That won't work. He's still you. Just wait until you hear him say something suave. Something suave. <laughs> Ooh, Petey, aren't you going to introduce me to your robot friend? Ew. How you doing? I'm Gina Falcone. You can put a gun to my head, but I ain't calling myself McDougal. My pop used to be the capo in a New York crime family. That was great. Everywhere I went, I was treated with respect. Hey, Gina! Good to see you, kid! 
Here's a hundred. Get yourself a lollipop. I talked with that dentist of yours. You won't be getting any more cavities. That was all about the end. Because anyway. my Uncle Cheech started shooting his mouth off. The Don ordered a hit on him, but my pop didn't have the stones to do it. So while Pop was begging the Don to spare Cheech's life, I decided to make my bones and take Cheech out. And then Pop had to go and screw it up. I guess Pop did have stones, just not a lot of brains. And that's how we wound up in Lady Part Saskatchewan. It's okay to say it, sweetie. Regina. But if you think I like being here, you can f***ing... Oh, language! What the f***? What's wrong with you? Forget about it. So, there it is. I accounted for every day right down to the minute. You tell me, when could I have possibly slept with Svetanka? I know what I saw, Yimmy. Okay, fine. You got me. I've been riding it like a freaking tilt-a-whirl. I knew it! Wait a second. You'd never admit to something like that unless you're lying. And if you're lying, it means you didn't do it. Aw, oh, come here, you big lug. It's official. I will never understand women. <laughs> I vant you. Signed Svetanka. Gabadana Vilyanovich. Who was that? <gasps> Is that for me, you big sweetheart? Let's do that right now. Bring the bear. Wow. How'd you do this? Simple. I had a vision and told Petey to make it happen. At first, we considered outsourcing to a Chinese production facility. But then Petey reminded me that they have a terrible Hunan rice recipe. Human rights policy. Whatever. Anyway, as a job creator, I wanted to keep the factory here in the state of Regina. But I crunched the numbers and the labor costs would kill us, so we automated. I gotta say, I'm impressed. This is a hell of an operation you got here. Now, if you'll excuse us, we gotta move some latex butts. <laughs> move it or lose it, toots! <laughs> Where's my stuff? I returned it all. My handbag collection? Returned. My diamond tennis bracelet? Returned. The meat dress I bought off Lady Gaga? Cooked it for dinner. Really? You just made a $20,000 meat sauce. This isn't fair! Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I'm trying to teach you about personal responsibility. The ex-stripper mobster's wife is gonna tell me, the CEO of Ask Jacks, about responsibility? Do not talk to me like that, young lady. My house, my rules. Well then, maybe I won't live in your house, you jealous cow! Where are you going? I'm taking my operation overseas. And by overseas, I mean downtown. Go ahead and move out. You're never gonna make it. This town's gonna eat you alive. And your little dog, too. You're gonna come crawling back. You'll see. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> this meat sauce tastes like sweat. <laughs> can't believe we have to ride the bus. We're turning into those people who bring bags to the store because they can't afford plastic. Mass transit is good for the environment and reduces CO2 emissions. This is so unfair. How could Daddy expect us to live on zero dollars a day? That's almost nothing. What's the matter with you two? You've been living off a of pop like forever. Me? I've been earning from myself since preschool. You want something in this life? You take it. Simple as that. She's right. Not about the stealing, of course, but there are things we can do to make our own money. Like collecting bottles for recycling. Really? Tell me more. Well, recycling saves resources, reduces smog... <laughs> The money part. They pay for bottles so we can earn money and save the planet at the same time. Driver, take me to where we save the planet. Sure, it's one stop past where we end world hunger. Stupid kid. Someone's after me, I need a gun. Thanks, kid. Where'd you get this? You want a gun or you want to ask stupid questions? Where the hell were you? Paul McCool's lying in the hospital and you can Wait can't... a second, McCool's in the hospital? Why didn't you tell me? That means we're on our own! What are you talking about? I don't get time to explain. I think we've been made. <laughs> Whoa! Easy, Tiger. Boy, Jimmy, I've been trying to introduce myself all night, but you kept giving me the slip. Who the hell are you? And who sent you? 
I came as soon as I got your message. Jimmy, this is FBI agent Rick Chick Magnet. Is pepperoni okay? All they had was pepperoni. It's kind of cold. What do you feds want from me now? The Bureau wants to interview you for an ongoing investigation, Jimmy. Nice to meet you. I'm Special Agent McCool. Let me guess. First name, not so? Nice uniform, not so. <laughs> so what do you say, Jimmy? Deal or not a deal? No way. I had enough of being a no-good snitch for one lifetime. In the eyes of the U.S. government, you're no snitch. You, sir, are a hero. You sure you got the right Jimmy? Oh, and by the way, I brought eight pounds of gabagool from Polly's Deli in New York. Yay! <gasps> Jimmy, what's a gabagool? It's lunch meat. Now put on some pants, will you? Come on in, chick magnet. I guess I'll be heading back to the old hospital. <laughs> For Canada! And ow! Oh, my stitches popped. Our first commercial. I'm so excited. How can you be in a commercial? We're in witness protection. Mom, it's all right. We thought of that. Watch. Hey, girlfriend. Do boys ignore you because you have a small bony ass? Then you need Ass Jacks. With Ass Jacks, you get so many guys, you'll have to beat them off with a stick. In fact, you'll be beating guys off all over town. You can wear Ass Jacks in the club. Shake that thing. Up on charges, wear Ass Jacks to court. Ass dismissed. You can even wear them to church. Bless me, Father, for I have booty. Don't be a jackass. Go to AskJacks.com and order your Ask Jacks now. Now what are you gonna do? You actually gotta make the damn things. Ma, we're already on it. <laughs> that didn't work. Next. Go on, Petey. I'm not sure about this. I love experiments. I just don't want to be experimented on. If you don't, Petey, they'll do it on an innocent little animal. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Great. How'd it go? I feel surprisingly fine. At first, I was scared, but after the probe, everything went dark That's and... That's great. Where do we get paid? Will there be any side effects from this? Absolutely not. Look, <laughs> oh, guess what? Flowers? What are you bringing me flowers for? Who'd you sleep with? I'll kill her. Then I'll kill you. Then I'll mount both your heads on stakes to teach the kids what we do with cheetahs. Sorry, Jimmy, I'm still upset about that stupid movie. Well, I got just the thing. We're having a VIP over for dinner, just like the good old days. Aw, Jimmy. What's the matter with you? You invite someone for dinner, you don't tell me? Who the hell is this VIP anyway? Yes, sir, I'm here. Jimmy, regarding the dinner for Spotted Dick. Oh, so McCool knows about it. Why am I the last one to know anything around here? Why are you getting so mad? What's the big deal? Just a second, hon, okay? The big deal is, I haven't cleaned, there ain't a thing in the fridge, and look at me, my hair's a disaster. Don't worry, we'll order in. And your hair, I don't know what to tell you. What the hell's that supposed to mean? You saying I got bad hair? Jimmy, cookie, shush. Stay out of this, McCool. Cook, I didn't say you got bad hair, I just said you don't got no time to do nothing about it. Oh, so now I'm fat and lazy. You believe this, Jagoff? Oh, Cook, relax. Why you gotta get so personal? None of us is 22 anymore. Oh, so now I'm old. Let me tell you something, you fat sack of shit. I beg your pardon. What? Is this 123 Jim Carrey Lane? Your Majesty, if I may. Your Majesty? Holy shit! The VIP is the Queen of freaking England. Your Majesty, my apologies. You were given the wrong address. Now, if you'll just follow me... Nonsense, officer. I'm in the right place. And I'd rather like to see how this turns out. Thanks for getting the old broad here in one piece. Morning! Um, Jimmy? I, I don't think you... Sorry, can't talk. Lot of work to do. Gotta put the old nose in the grindstone, so... Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. But didn't you quit? What? Quit? What are you kidding? I love this job. 
I love whatever it is we uh, do here. I'm sorry, but you were very clear that you wanted to terminate your employment. Toby, that's not my ass. My ass is in color. Jimmy, as much as I'd like to give you your job back, we've already hired someone else. <laughs> so fire him. No can do. Last time I did that, his union was all over me. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but for the good of those girls and the continued survival of my nads, I need to power you down. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Petey. Hasta la vista, Petey Bot. <coughs> Wrong remote. Forgot I installed that. I am sorry, Petey, but it is you that must be terminated. Why do robots always turn on their masters? Why do masters always anger their robots? No, no. Damn it, that's of no use to me. Violence is never a solution. <coughs> Okay, maybe under some circumstances. Hey, what's with all the racket? I killed Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. Okay, I'm bored. I recently spent some time with a delightful Canadian family, the McDougals. Their grace, gentility, and dare I say class, reaffirms my commitment to keeping Canada firmly in the Commonwealth. Ha-ha! <laughs> Suck on those coconuts, Tonga! Did you hear that, Jimmy? She said we was classy. Yeah, but she said the McDougals, not the Falcons. Don't worry. The McDougals saved Canada. What did the freaking Falcons do for us lately? Well, they did get gangster TV booted off the air due to low ratings. There's still one tiny problem. After the press conference, the Queen failed to show up at her hotel. Any idea where she could be? Jimmy said you needed some breathing room. How do you like them apples? Breathtaking? That would be my ride. Thank you, Francesco. And farewell! Give me a call, will you? Yo, Liz, you're gonna call me a what? Never mind! Oh, well, we'll always have Regina. Chief Toss! Snack on that, McDougal! This reminds me of the time we threw Big Cheese Romano off the roof! <laughs> Something's missing. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> and you call yourself a Scott? Why don't you change your name to Scott? <laughs> ah! Oh, it's on! <laughs> What are you doing? That's my girlfriend! I mean, uh, my mascot! There's a raft of sheep stomachs in the fridge, you daft Marys! Oh. Watch your back, lamb chop. <laughs> Caber toss in your face, McDougal! This reminds me of something, too. <laughs> Huh. I guess I never killed no one with a tree trunk before. What, you've been living in a cave? <laughs> <laughs> Off the field again! Oh, victory for Clan McTavish! Good game, Anus. <laughs> Jimmy, aren't you mad he beats you? You're the sorest loser I know. Did I lose, Cheech? Did I? Ah, but that's what you get for not going to the games, you bastard! See you later, Cook. We'll be next door, eh? Again? That's the third night this week! I know, eh? But for the first time since we moved here, I met some fellas I can really relate to. Look at yourself. You can't walk two steps without breaking into a sweat. You smell like the floor of a saloon. And if you say A one more time without meaning the first letter of the alphabet, I'll twist your nuts off! I can still go, right? <laughs> Come on, Cookie. I'm just going over there for a quick round of bum dots. Jesus, it's worse than I thought. Oh, it's not what you think. It's just a fun little game. Jimmy, think back to the old life. 
when you were hanging around the club with your friends? Did you guys ever play games that involved your butts? <sighs> now you put it like that, it sounds all kinds of wrong. Warm up the TV, I'm staying in. But first I gotta throw out all our nickels. Okay, this game is called Brewski Roulette. One of these beers is loaded, so you randomly pick one and open it near your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you been hosed, you hoser. <laughs> now. Oh! No, no, no. This next game is choice. Okay. So, like, you take a nickel, eh? You put her between your cheeks, okay, and you get a clench on, right? And you just, like, you know, give her. Oh! <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play bum darts. We have much to learn from your people. I think it went up. Oh. That's cheating! What are you doing? You should be suiting up for the big game! Ah, I'm not playing. I'm out. I already got my PE credit. Are you kidding? You got a beautiful thing in your grasp, and I ain't letting you throw away my big chance. Your chance? How is this about you? Shut up and put on your skates, Frankenstein. If you like hockey so much, why don't you play? Because they won't let me! I don't want to give you the gory details, because there's a lot of them. But I got banned from hockey forever. Apparently, the only blades you can use are the ones in your skates. Oh, Gina, I had no idea. Why would you? You're as dumb as a post. But you sure do shine on that ice. What a waste. Maybe I got one more game in me. You do? For you, I do. It's just the Moose Jaw Milkmaids, bunch of farmer's daughters. I'll cream them for you. You're the best, sis. All right, cut it out. Your beard's scratching me. Yo, Jimmy, you gotta try this caviar and truffle sandwich. It's 600 bucks every time I take a bite, and it tastes just like chicken. Nah, I'm too full from the narwhal soup. We didn't spend too much yesterday, did we? Not at all. We bought mostly essentials. Ain't that right, Percy? Ow! Ouch! I don't know how those ice dances sew these sequins on. By using a double top stitch. How many times I gotta tell you? Ah, I can't focus. Cookie's so competitive about this dance contest, she's driving me crazy! You want me to pull a Tonya Harding, take out a knee? Say the word, she'll never walk again. That's my wife you're talking about! Besides, I'm way ahead of you. I slashed the tires so she can't get to rehearsal. Isn't that your car, Jimmy? Yeah, but it's also her car. That's why you're the boss, Jimmy. Always thinking. Now give me some change for the bus. How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, former good fella currently freezing his ass off in Canada. Back in the old life, I never saw snow. And I don't mean drugs. I delegated that to Big Blow Bellucci. I'm talking real snow. Jimmy complained about the cold. I want you guys to make it summer around here. Thought it was calling for a huge snowstorm. Not that I'm complaining. <sighs> it worked. From now on, it's gonna be summer all the time. Except Christmas. I like a white Christmas, but warm. Capiche? I love New York in November. I look dolphin! <laughs> Palm trees in New York? If global warming means the end of the world, so be it. Hey, Rocco, that counts as a break. Now I live in Regina, where global warming ain't hit yet. It snows all the freaking time here. I mean, it never stops. Don't worry, Jimmy. I got your back. <laughs> Cheech, what the hell are you doing? There's too many snowflakes. I can't get them all. Tell them I went down fight. If you think I can even remember what summer feels like, forget about it. Since Cookie won't listen to reason or the Bible, we gotta shut this place down. You know, for the good of the kids. Kills me to see him neglected like that. Special Agent McCool, nice of you to drop by. <laughs> Full disclosure, Cookie, I sometimes moonlight as the regional health inspector. Well, I'd offer you a bribe, 
but my kitchen is so spotless, you could eat off the floor. Speaking of which, you done licking the floor yet, Rodney? Don't worry, Cookie. My visit tonight is strictly as a haggis and cockalicky craving customer. Waiter, there's a hand in my soup. <coughs> and you're closed. You can't do this! Sorry, Cookie. Wee Wee Wheat Thins is now officially a crime scene. Jeez, tough break, Cook. But, hey, you had a good run. No shame in that. Oh, for shame, there's a foot in the salad bar. You're a great chef. You deserve success. And you would have had it, but what are you going to do? It's the unpredictable hand of fate. Actually, it was the hand of Lorenzo. What I'm saying is, maybe this is a sign that your place is at home with your family and their laundry. You're right, Jimmy. Nothing to do now but take my failed ass home. Bada bing! Where do you think you're going? I got rehearsal. These tap shoes ain't gonna tap themselves. Well, I got rehearsal too, mister. Who's gonna stay home and watch Gina? Gina? She ain't even home. I ain't seen her in days. In that case, dibs on the car! I got no time for this. I gotta pick up sequins for my fancy pants. Wait, I just heard that. Catch you later, sucker! You come back here. Oh, oh man. All these dances really <sighs> whipped me into shape. That was freaking amazing. It was like I was on that show, dancing with the people who used to be stars. With Juan Carlos, I was dancing on a cloud of tacos and vending machine cologne. McCool was right about us spending time together. Except we didn't really spend any time together because our bodies are, how you say, incompatible. Ah, she don't know what she's talking about. I'll prove it to you. Oh! Jesus, when's the last time we danced? Sorry. No problem. Let me think. Was it at a wedding? Ow! Oops. Nah, I got nabbed for that diamond ring robbery before our first dance, remember? What? Oh, my bad. Did you guys get electrocuted or something? Maybe oh. ballroom dancing ain't our thing. Well, if we can't dance together, there's no point doing it at all. I agree. Ballroom dancing is out. Good call. You look like a couple of seagulls fighting over a french fry. Jimmy, can I see you for a minute? What up, Teach? Can I just say what an amazing time I've been having in this class? No, really, I mean it. Eh, go buy yourself an apple. Jimmy, night school isn't all fun and games, except for recess. You're struggling in class and failing your practice tests. I think you might have a learning disability. Oh! Did you just call me a gimp? No, and I would never use that term. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I am not a gimp! I agree. All you need is some extra help. Oh, yeah? Well, help this! Just to be clear, I do not have erectile dysfunction. Yeah, I got that. <sighs> hey, Jimmy, who died? What? I'm fine. You can't fool me. I know something's wrong. Spit it out. Well, I got this friend. See, he's having a little problem. Stop right there. Who's this f***ing friend? I thought I was your friend. Shut up. The guy's in trouble. You don't want to help? Get out of here. OK, relax. I'm listening. All right, look. Not to get too specific, but let's just say my friend, who is not me, is no longer able to achieve or maintain a viable Erection! Quit beating around the bush. What's your friend's problem? His ring-a-ding-ding's got no dung. Ooh, why you gotta be so graphic? Okay, I got this. Old Cheats knows a thing or two about a thing or two. You do? Oh, yeah. There's a simple solution. Really? Thank God! Tell your friend to blow his brains out. What? That's right. It's over. He ain't a man no more. Tell him to make a dignified exit. You'll be doing him a favor. Jesus, I was mad at the guy, now I just pity the poor son of a bitch. <sighs> what the hell? Is it just me, or is the house roomier? Holy crap! Benny friggin' robbed us! The kid learned good. <laughs> they even took the vent covers. I am so proud of that thieving, lying, low-down, dirty bastard. Too bad I gotta kill him. Benny stole my laptop! Benny stole all my shoes! Benny stole my Dora DVDs! What? I gotta hablo espanol for 
when I deal with the cartels. Benny didn't take none of my stuff. My eight tracks and thigh master are right where I left them. Too bad you got me kicked off the force or I'd totally catch him and get our stuff back. Don't even talk to me, Pepper Spray Patty. Fine. Enjoy sitting on your invisible couch watching invisible TV. What's he talking about? I don't see no invisible couch. I got it! What the hell is that? You're supposed to get an envelope. Ah, oh, crap. Wrong building. I'll go put it back. Great. Look what you made me do. Shut up! You're starting to piss me off, you. Whoa. Ah, oh, jeez. I better put you out of your misery. All right, hold still. I said hold still. It'll be over in a second. There. Got it. Stupid goose. Only fat guys drink beer. What do you want, a medal for not dying? Scram! I ain't kidding. Quit following me. Last warning, pal, unless you want an ass full of buckshot. Chick Magnet's giving you a six-bedroom house, a full cable package, and a job as a nude beach lifeguard? Are you sure you don't want to stay in Canada, Jimmy? I'm positive. California's got sunshine, no snow, and unfettered access to burritos. My hands are tied here. Well, then, I suppose this is goodbye? Really? I never hugged a cop before, unless I was stabbing him. In a way, you have stabbed me, Jimmy. Right through the heart. Jeez, all right. <gasps> You're crying now? No, no, my... Incision became severely infected when I left the hospital to meet you last night. That's what you get for ignoring doctor's orders. Anyway, I'll send you a postcard. It'll have my new name on it. Jimmy Gonzalez. <gasps> Yo, Ma, are we poor? No, Gina, we're not poor. We're just a little light right now. That's an actual thing? I thought it was something Deadbeat said when they don't want to pay. No, it's an actual thing. So, if you're not poor, why are you buying all this generic crap? Grumpy green giant, hamburger hindrance, room temperature pockets? Who buys this stuff? Immigrants and hobos, honey. Don't forget the elderly. No one's talking to you, toots. How you doing? I'm Jimmy McDougal. Used to be Jimmy Falcone. I may be living like a jerk in witness protection, but back in the day, I was a made guy. I was the head of a crew, and no one could touch me. Basically, I had it made. It's a funny story how that happened. This one night, they told me to keep Don Gambini away from his house because his wife was throwing him a surprise birthday party. Everyone's acting all weird and secretive, Jimmy. I'm telling you, something's going on. If I screwed up the surprise, his wife would kill me. Literally. She was built like a lumberjack, and she was real good with an axe. Anyway, I shall get going. We just got here, boss. At least finish your drink. Hey, look! Look at Cheech go! <laughs> I could swear I just finished that. The thing about the Don was he got jumpy when he drank too much. Who did that? i will plug you, you rat! But I got him home in time, just like I was supposed to. I guess the surprise was on them. The Don took out so many guys that night, I wound up getting made. But if you think I still got it made here in Regina, forget about it. All right, we need firepower. Want to take the Uzis? Nah, I don't want to look like a show off. I hate to say it, but shouldn't we just let the cops handle this? You worry too much. We know what we're doing. Shots fired! We need guns, damn it! I'm filling out the requisition as fast as I can! Get your ass in there! And take some grenades! I can't remember which classroom's Gina's. I only been here once for interviews. And I was pretty drunk. Who? <laughs> There they go, Saskatchewan's finest. 
Fear not, Cookie. I came as soon as I heard. No time for pleasantries. I'd better get inside. But may I say, it's a glorious morning today. Damn it, McCool, there's no time. No sh! Get in there and save my daughter! For Canada! Where we downplay our increasingly frequent gun violence! If there ain't any more questions, I guess I'm done. Ah! Oh! Ah! Gina! I've been looking all over for you! Oh, crap. You're the guy with the gun. Whoa! You brought shotguns? And a troll! This ain't good. We better beat it. Hey, McCool! You here for safety week? Oh, I ain't paying you jagoffs to stand around gawking. Get back to work. Gina, I've been elected shop steward, and as such must tell you, the bossy membership feels they're not getting a fair shake. That's crazy. I'm paying five bucks a house. It's market rate. But you're charging our customers 50. What happens to the other 45? I think them fancy jackets pay for themselves. Teresa bought them, and you still haven't paid her back. I got a, a health and retirement plan to pay for. Them things don't come cheap. You know what else don't come cheap? Us. On behalf of the members of Bossy Local One, I hereby declare a strike. Yay! Just as soon as Brother Oliver has his potty break. Yo, Petey. I've been thinking about it. I'm gonna do this thing. You know, with uh, butt monkeys. Buddhist monks. Yeah, that's the one. Religion's a cash grab, and I want a piece. I just need to fool them monks long enough to start bilking my followers. You know what? I think I'll help you. You? Mr. Squeaky Clean No Balls? Why? Because I think the simple, gentle wisdom of the Buddha may just penetrate your heart. Like water through cracks in stone. Whatever. But if you screw this up, I'm gonna crack you with a stone. Police deny the helicopter crash had anything to do with a recent epidemic of teenage drunkenness. Hey, when is Grandpa Marcel gonna visit again? She's gonna show me how to off a guy with a scrunchie. She ain't coming back to this house. You kidding me? Why not? I don't want her around you. You're taking away the one woman I can actually learn something useful from. What? You're seriously robbing me of the only strong female role model in my life? I'm standing right here. Gina, I'm your father, and I can rob you of whatever the hell I want. Jimmy, that's enough. Don't listen to him, Gina. Go get yourself a cookie. What's the matter with you? Are you going to crap on everyone just because your father changed into a woman? Nah, that's his freaking business. What am I going to do, change him back? So what are you pissed off about? I'm pissed off because he left me! He never even said goodbye! Why? What did I do? Was it something wrong with me? Wasn't I good enough? Oh, Jimmy, it wasn't your fault. Jesus Christ, what is this, an after-school special? I'm your new chef, Cookie McDougal. Now, I'm a little new to Scottish cooking, but I've been doing a wee bit of research, and I'm sure all you lads and lassies will be great. <laughs> These have been in the freezer for three months, and you want to serve them to customers? This is a restaurant, you jag off, not a Viet Cong prison camp! Are you sweating in the soup? What the hell is wrong with you? You know what? Screw it! Let's just serve them warmed over piss! Squat down! No? Then start over! You can't cry in the kitchen. If I see one more of you motherfuckers crying in here, it's in the fucking oven you go, head first. You think I'm playing? <laughs> and let that be a lesson to all of you. Hey, McCool, when I agreed to move to Canada, nobody told me the government controls the liquor. They also control gambling, medical marijuana, and heroin injection sites. No matter what your vice, Canada's got you covered. Why can't I get a freaking bottle of booze after 9 p.m.? Jimmy, the days of drive through liquor at alcoholic enabling prices are behind you. Mother Canada is here to save you from yourself. For Canada, where no one has fun after 9 p.m. Hey! Except in Quebec. Yeah. Oh, cheer up. One night without a few drinks ain't gonna kill ya. That ain't the point. Nobody tells me when I can and can't enjoy a drink. Well, looks like Mother Canada just did, ya big baby. Screw this, I got an idea. Back in Prohibition days, how did people get booze? Mama used to blow sailors for a bottle of gin. Which way to the docks? That was awesome!
Um. Okay, here's your cut. Don't spend it all in one pond. stops on Albert Street. Eyes on the road. You're trying to get us killed? What are you looking at? Aw, oh, nuts. Don't you get it, Beaks? You don't gotta fly south ever again. Unless the cops are chasing you. Did I or did I not just tell you to keep your freaking eyes on the road? Jimmy, What the hell? Excuse me, sir. Do you have a reservation? What are you talking about, Teresa? It's me. This is my house. Nope. This is Mighty McDougal's House of Haggis. You turned our house into a restaurant? You said you wanted me home, so I came home. But it ain't fair to my customers to shut down, so I brought them with me. Thanks for being so supportive, sweetheart. I do not remember being supportive. And I do not remember you having a reservation. Cheech, will you look at what Cookie's done to this place? I know. If I do a good job, I could make dishwasher. Gina, how about getting the old man some food? I'm starving here. No can do, Pop. We're full up. <laughs> now, I'll get you a shrimp cocktail. And a beer. No dice. All we got here is Rob Royce. Can we get a Heineken, a spritzer, and a fuzzy navel? Three Rob Roy's coming up. For the last time, I do not want to buy a fucking rose. Finally, it's about freaking time I get to tell my story. In case you're deaf, blind, or not into smoking hot chicks, I'm Teresa Falcone. When I was younger, I used to love bring your daughter to work day. The guys at dad's work was so much fun. There was Frankie No Fingers, such a klutz. But boy, could he thumb wrestle. And Johnny Calculator used to help me with my counting homework. See, Teresa? X minus Y equals Z. I'm supposed to be doing math, not spelling. And Freddy Chuckles was always good for a laugh. Hey, hey Teresa, smell my flower. <gasps> oh, look, I'm all wet. Teresa, get in the car. I never saw those guys again. Now that we're living in Regina, I really miss the guys from Pop's work. Whatever happened to them? Nothing. They just got froze out of the business. <laughs> what was that, Daddy? Nothing. Forget about it. But you just said... Yeah, I said, forget about it! Well, Blumpkin, I think you're a hit. The kids all love you. Except maybe for Stumpy, who should have known better than to get so close to your cage. You're feeding them baby seals? What? They were out of baby dolphins. Aren't those expensive? What about prom? Who cares about prom? Blumpkin's on the endangered list. Horny teenagers are not. You're gonna be endangered if you spend all the prom money. There's only one way to settle this. President Petey will put it to a vote. <laughs> Don't worry, Blumpkin. The students will do the right thing. After all, who couldn't love that face? Ew. Not that face. The other one. Poor guy's turning blue. We gotta find something to start a fire. Don't waste your time. He knew this was a one-way ride. Come on, Cheech. The guy risked his life to save my ass after I treated him like a jerk. Which makes him a huge pushover, but still. Way I see it, if he dies, we can survive on him for weeks. He's built like Conan. The barbarian, not the weird redhead on TV. Cheech, I'm hungry too, but we're not eating McCool. Get a fire going. You work nights as an arsonist. Should be a cinch. Look for anything that'll burn. Forget it, Jimmy. We're all gonna freeze in here. Wait, I know. This ought to burn for a while. <clears throat> Changed your mind? Ah, the tag was chafing me. I'd appreciate it if you could keep Riff Raff like Scotty McBozo off of my doorstep. But you're a McDougal now. The Scottish community is finally inviting you into the fold. You just had to go and make me Scottish, didn't you? 
Why couldn't you just make me Italian? Because you'd have been too easily identified as ex-mafioso. Oh, so Italian automatically means mob to you? You racist sack of shit. I ought to put one in your head, run your body through a meat grinder, and bury you in cement! But I take your point. So you'll attend the games then? Not a chance. If you refuse this challenge, the Scottish Canadian Times will brand you a coward. You'll wind up on their shite list, along with other things Scottish people hate, like the Queen, underwear, and fresh vegetables. Do you want your friends back home to find your picture in gear, Jimmy? I guess not. Then have fun at the games for Canada, where every culture gets a ridiculous summer fair. Let me get this straight. We gotta cook this thing's stomach. How we gonna get it out, ma? Same way your father did with Joey the Fink. Oh! Oh! Hey! Oh! Ah! Oh. Sorry, Yetzi. Who would have guessed the Saturday Academic Achievers Jamboree was just a bunch of grade-grubbing dorks? But don't worry, we'll find you some cool friends. <laughs> My sister suggested you pick a fight with someone to get noticed, which is totally absurd. Yetzi, cut it out! That's not going to work! Will you stop it? That's enough! <gasps> ah, sh**. Yetzi, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Wait, you forgot your teeth! <sighs> Ooh, pretty. Stop moving, stupid necklace! <laughs> Funny, whenever I'm in this position, there's a necklace involved. You're late! I told you to come straight home from school. I was doing school stuff. I joined the Future Business Leaders Club. Oh, please, you don't fool me for a second. You're just trying to stay away from here as long as possible. I'll have you know I am full of, what do they call them, viable consumer innovations. You're full of something, all right. Tomorrow, you come straight home from school. None of this phony club crap, you hear me? But, Mom, the one time I'm not lying, and you End of discussion. Oh, yeah? I'm going to come up with an idea that's going to knock your socks off. You want to knock my socks off? Get your virginity back! All right, what do you want? I've realized that prison rules don't apply in Canada. Here, people reward the victim, not the aggressor. If I want to be surrounded by girls like Yetzi, I need to get my ass kicked. Wait a second. You want me to beat you up in front of the girls? I want some of the action he's getting. What better way to get sympathy than by being unjustly trounced by a thug? Edie, think this through! <gasps> Hurry up, come on, hit me! No, get lost, you whack job! Come on, just a few good shots! Real quick, give me what I want! Let go of me, you freaking psycho! <gasps> now Yetzi's bully is assaulting a little girl! Get him! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? To conclude my show and tell, if a man at the park asks you into the woods to find his lost dog, remember, there is no dog. Good job, Mary. You go sit with Prudence the Safety Hippo. Gina, your turn. All right, let's get this over with. I want to talk about personal safety. There's a lot of creeps and weirdos out there, not to mention stoolies, deadbeats, and guys who just don't listen. You gotta protect yourself. So, you're gonna need one of these. <gasps> She's got a gun! Relax, it ain't loaded. Now it's loaded. Ho oh, ho, look who's back in town. Feeling strong today? Cause I got something for you. Oh crap. <laughs> All right, let's do it the old fashioned way. Put up your dukes, uh, claws, hoofs. What do you call them foot hands? <laughs> All right, which one is first? Yeah! Oh, 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 oh! Oh! You boys do realize the liquor store's open again. We don't need them no more. Mother Canada can blow me. Well, don't come crying to me if drinking that crap makes you go blind. Jimmy, if we do go blind, can I get a monkey? Hey, this beer ain't half bad. Half bad? It's whole good. What a relief. Now we don't gotta throw all this out. Where you been? Seeing McCool. Don't worry, he'll corroborate. Look, you and me gotta talk. What's up? You know Swatanka? Yeah? 
What about her? She's been stalking me. Here we go. Oh boy, thanks for the crappy advice, McCall. Well, I can't say I blame her. You're not mad? Oh, I'm gonna slice her up later. But I ain't mad at you. You didn't do nothing. What was that? Oh, this is just like that movie where the crazy stalker broad cooks the rabbit. Oh, God. You, you think she's in the house? Hell, I bet she's right behind us. Yeah. What? I'm making beans. Okay, let's work on the fundamentals. You mean skating and teamwork? Nah, forget all that. First off, both ends of your stick come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's easy to make that one look accidental if you're keeping up appearances. Now, later, when you're not, this is called shirting. You do this on the street, you get five months. In here, you get five minutes. God, I love this game. It's too cold. My ankles hurt. I can't do hockey. Yes, you can. Just pretend the other team's a bunch of crazy broads at a shoe sale. Now, get in there and take what's yours. I do. Not bad. Next time, don't hold back. Oh, hello. You must be one of Teresa's many, many boyfriends. Petey, it's me. Have we met before? I can't quite place you. Well, better get back to the books. Nice meeting you. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> What's happening to me? So, they took your appendix, huh, McCool? I'll give you one of mine, but it's probably messed up from hard living. But, Uncle Cheech, the human appendix is a vestigial organ. I've been kicked in the vestigials. I feel your pain, McCool. I hope you like the flowers. It was the most expensive ones they had. Nothing's too good for our Mountie. We got the banner just in case. Listen, Doc, this guy's a friend of the family. Send his bill to us. What bill? I like you. You learn fast. Cookie, is Jimmy coming? His smiling face and ceaseless cigar smoke always brighten my day. Don't worry, I'm sure he's on his way. I sent that bonehead plenty of reminders. <laughs> ah, crap, I slept past five. What are you doing? I got a replacement for Money Bear. You think that piece of crap's gonna fool Gina? Where's the dollar sign on the front? I'll sew it on, but first we gotta age it to look like Money Bear. What's he look like? I need details. I don't know, ask Petey. I can, he'll say, Mother, honesty is the best policy and get us all killed. Wait, it had an eye missing. Good, good, so we'll pry off one of the son of a bitch's eyes. Which one? Think! I had it, but you slapped it out of me. Okay. Now, we run him through the dryer a bunch of times to make him look old. I can't do this. I can lie to you and Pop. But Gina, she's got those eyes. They burn right through ya. Don't you fall apart on me now. If this doesn't look exactly like Money Bear, you and me are going to California in a pine box. What the hell are they talking about Money Bear for? He's right down here. What are they so freaked out about? I'm out. You're out when I say you're out. <laughs> I could have a lot of fun with this. Petey told us what happened. Are you boys okay? Everyone's fine, despite being chased by a lunatic out for personal gain. Funny, same thing happened to me and Teresa. But why let one rogue federal agent ruin the big move to California? Uh, about that, Cookie, it appears that Chick Magnet engineered the whole thing. I know, what a bastard, but we're still going, right? Right? Sorry, Cook. Jesus Christ! That's my hope. <laughs> well, McCool, I guess you ain't getting rid of us that easy. I suppose not. I must thank you, Jimmy. You went above and beyond to keep me alive. I just burned a shirt off my back. It was nothing. No, Jimmy, it was proof. You like me. You really like me. Well, I should get back to hospital. The infection is starting to take hold again. <gasps> Let's cook them like a Christmas ham. Look at you slaving away. How much is Dad paying you for this? 
Five bucks. Five bucks? You're getting screwed by the man. He's inside, nice and warm, and you're out here freezing your ass off for no money like a sucker. I like helping out. Yeah, getting exploited. And so are all these other kids. <laughs> Sounds like you're developing a social conscience, Gina. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But I'll tell ya, if anyone's doing any exploiting around here, it's me. Gotta think of a product. I'll show her. Think. 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 God, thinking's hard. And so is this chair. My butt's killing me. Europa. I think I got it. That looks fun. Quit snooping, Ma. Peeking over your shoulder to see what you're doing is not snooping. Teresa Maria Falcone, is that a picture of you drinking a beer? No, it's, um, an app. It's an app to make it look like I'm drinking the beer. <gasps> and that's an app to make it look like I'm Frenching another girl while frat boys cheer us on. Teresa, why would you do something like that? You know how it is. After five beers, you're on autopilot. And flashing a policeman? That's autopilot, too? No, that was tequila. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.